What is the difference between Henderson and Summerlin? And that's what we're talking about today. So let's roll. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And I'm Damian Barton. Angela's sidekick. And before we get started, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Now, a few years ago, I did a video on Henderson versus Summerlin, so I thought it'd be time to do an updated video on that exact same topic just because it was a while ago, okay? And this is a very big topic because I have a lot of clients from out of state that ask what's the difference between Henderson and Summerlin. Some people want just only Summerlin, some people want Henderson, or they want to look at both areas to see the difference between the two. All right, so I thought it was important to kind of just clarify what is the difference between Summerlin and Henderson. Each of them has its benefits and could be suitable choice for your next home. Deciding to move to Henderson or Summerlin can be hard, but we've come up with some tips to help you decide which place could be best for you. So what is one of the major difference between Henderson and Summerlin? Well, one of the major differences is that uh, Henderson is actually the second largest city in Nevada with many different master plan communities, while Summerlin, on the other hand, is the largest master plan community in Las Vegas. Exactly. So everyone thinks you can't really compare the two because Henderson is a city in Nevada, while Summerlin is a major, the largest master plan community in Las Vegas. While Henderson has awesome master plan communities like Seven Hills, Anthem, Anthem Country Club, McDonald Ranch, McDonald Highlands, Cadence, Inspirata, etc. So if you ever want to compare Henderson to Summerlin, then you need to compare the master plan communities. I agree. Like Seven Hills would be kind of comparable and McDonald um, Highlands and, and etc. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now location. Now Henderson is located in the southeast part of the Las Vegas Valley, close to the Strip, while Summerlin is located on the west side of the valley. And that although that Henderson is close to the Strip, it could take just as long from Henderson to get to the Strip as it would from Summerlin. Mm -hmm. Drive time. Drive time because of how um, tucked away. Tucked away Henderson is and you have to go through a lot of traffic lights, etc. Mm -hmm. While most of Summerlin is on the outskirts of a 215 freeway, it's just direct, direct access. Mm -hmm. um, so technically, even though it's closer to the Strip, doesn't mean that it'll take the same amount of time or, or, or shorter amount of time to get to the Strip. Right. Right? Because mm -hmm. you have a lot of roads that are um, have a lot of lights and things too in Henderson. Or yeah, like the freeway access is, is relatively simple to get to when you're in Summerlin. Exactly. Now we're gonna go over the population of the two areas. So well, let's look at Henderson first. Henderson actually is three times the size as far as land uh, than it is to Summerlin, right. where Henderson is known for having the sixth lowest crime rate in the nation. So that's a bonus. And then Henderson also has a population of about 300,000 people, a little bit over that, while Summerlin is just shy under 150,000 people. And that's the huge difference. So basically, population-wise, Henderson is two times bigger in population than Summerlin. Mm -hmm. Next, let's talk about the cost of living. Yeah, the cost of living in Henderson tends to be more affordable than Summerlin. Henderson's cost of living is 5% more expensive than the Las Vegas Valley and 13% higher than the national average. The average cost of living in Summerlin is in the top 10% of the most expensive cities in the world mm -hmm. and ranked 110th out of 2,200 in the United States an eighth of the 13th in Nevada. So very desirable. It's a very desirable area. However, Henderson, I mean, Summerlin tends to be a little more expensive in certain parts. Obviously, Henderson, you have the McDonald Highlands, you know, a sky, you have some very high end communities, but f for an overall cost, Summerlin tends to be a little more expensive. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to briefly talk about real estate. Mm -hmm. Summerlin homes tend to cost more on average with an average starting price closer to 400000 
but both Henderson and Summerlin have high-end communities offering contemporary design homes with desert landscaping, guard gate security, breathtaking views, and extraordinary amenities. Like I mentioned before, they both have these high-end exclusive communities. Summerlin has the Ridges, the Summit, uh, Red Rock Country Club, and then in Henderson you have Seven Hills, Anthem Country Club, McDonald Highlands, and the list can go on and on. So if you want to compare to Summerlin to Henderson, you have to break it down even further. It's like my community almost, right? Exactly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now we're going to go into outdoor recreation. Henderson is actually close to Lake Mead and the Colorado River, which are good for boating, fishing, and kayaking, and is known for its lush greenery and mature landscaping, which is boasting about 1,400 acres of developing parks and trails. While Summerlin is known for its proximity to the Red Rock Canyons and its focus on active, healthy, outdoor living with an expansive outdoor recreational amenities, including the 200-mile Summerlin Trail System, they have 300-plus parks and dozens of other parks that feature basketball, tennis, and volleyball courts, baseball, football, soccer fields, pool, playground areas, and much, much more. Yeah, I mean, obviously... We have done recently the top 10 parks in Summerlin. Uh, um, Their parks are, over 300 parks is a lot of parks. That's a lot of parks. Yeah. We picked out the (laughs) the top 10 for you though. You can check it out. Yeah. Uh, How about the weather? What's the weather like? So they say that Summerlin tends to be four to seven degrees cooler. And actually we have experienced that. We've tested it. We've tested it. One day we were showing clients in Cadence. Um, and it was 99 degrees there, and it was friggin' hot. <laughs> and then we come back to where we're located in, in the Summerlin North area, and it was like 95 degrees. Mm-hmm. So you can feel the difference between the two. Uh, it's, uh, and a lot of people like it because of the higher elevation. Summerlin's around 3,000 to 4,000 in elevation. Mm-hmm. And then what about Henderson? Do you know what that's roughly? Uh, I don't know. Okay, we'll get that out then. <laughs> now we're gonna talk about the schools. Henderson is known for its top-rated public schools, consistently outperforming state standards and proficiency tests. The school district has 113 schools, 60 of which are private, 40 public, and 13 charter schools. Summerlin, on the other hand, is home to more than two dozen schools, including 10 nationally recognized private schools and 16 public schools, as well as magnet and charter schools. The community also boasts of some of the highest ranked public schools in the state. Yeah, and that's why a lot of people, that's why they say location, location, location. When people are looking to relocate, they always look to see how the schools are ranked. And obviously, Henderson and Summerlin schools tend to rank better than the rest of the Las Vegas Valley. That's why those are two popular areas of where people want to move to. Let's talk about recognition. Yeah, and that's a good thing to learn about how these two communities are compared. Henderson was voted one of the top 50 places to live in America by Money Magazine in 2018 and ranked one of the safest cities to live in America by Forbes Magazine in 2017. While Summerlin every year gets ranked to all these things, but recently (laughs) was featured on the National Geographic uh, article naming Summerlin the number one best place to live and play. Yeah, congratulations, Summerlin. Yeah. With all that in mind, what do you think the verdict is? Well, basically, now that the details of each city has been compared, which is the best in the Las Vegas Valley, ultimately that's up for you to decide. We can talk all day about the differences between Summerlin and Henderson, but at the end of the day, it's where you want to buy, live, play, raise your family, retire, that you know you have to come to vegas and get a vibe and feel of which community best suits you obviously you know i do a lot of videos on summerlin um so i like the vibe of summerlin just because of its location i love the views of the mountains now Mm -hmm. henderson is just as equally beautiful you do have some mountain views windy roads some windy roads it's a little more flat and Mm -hmm. for me it's a little more crowded Um, I think the traffic, because um, if you get to deep in the heart of Henderson, especially the popular communities like Seven Hills and Anthem, it takes about 15 minutes just to get into that area. But once you're there, you don't have to leave. Mm -hmm. But then also, you know, a lot of 
the traffic to get to like the stores and stuff is pretty mm-hmm. bad, especially on Eastern. So the nice thing about Summerlin for me, the difference is, is that easy access to the freeway. It's not as crowded or congested. The streets are wider. Um, that's my opinion. So basically the areas are very similar. Okay, folks, it just depends on what you're looking for and location. Uh, whichever area, Henderson or Summerlin that you decide to relocate to, you can always reach out to me, right? Yes, and give please. me a call at 702-370-5112. Just because I specialize in Summerlin doesn't mean that I don't know anything about Henderson. I'm a real estate agent and I tend to know a lot about a lot of things, right? <laughs> yeah, when it comes to real estate, definitely an expert. I have to know a lot about everything. Anyway, folks, most importantly, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel because I'd like to talk a lot about all the different neighborhoods here in the Las Vegas Valley, in Henderson, Las Vegas, Summerlin, and North Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. But thank you guys so much for watching, and we can't wait to see you on the next video.